Hey there, YouTubers. Um, this is a video, this is probably the most difficult video I will ever do. Uh, and I, I'm not even sure if I'm ready to do it. Probably will start crying at some point. Um, my, uh, my father passed away. I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a long time, You've seen him in various different videos, um, kayaking, my wheelchair van, uh, going to the beach, a bunch of different stuff. And if you watch my music channel at all, you've probably sit seen him sitting there on the couch in the background for some videos. Um, also, he was featured in other music videos, singing some Frank Sinatra songs and other stuff while I played guitar. Um, and so although you've seen him in videos, I don't think anyone could ever possibly know how much he meant to me. Um, with the exception of uh, some trips that I've taken over the years to Europe and Canada and Caribbean, very, some other places. Um, with the exception of those times, we were together pretty much every day of my life. Um, when I, when I, you know, obviously I grew up, my sister and I grew up with both my parents and, um, well, my sister went to a private high school that she boarded at when she was six, starting at 16 years old. I mean, she started at 14, but she started boarding there at 16. And then I went to local high school, so I was home for that. And then when my sister went away to college, I went away to college also, but my dad came and lived with me while I was at college and after college, and then when I got my condo down here in Florida, he always came down here with me. And uh, it just feels like there's this, there's this huge void in my life now. <laughs> because I loved him so much. And, and he worked so hard at rehab and was doing so well. That's Rusty in the background. He misses him too because he used to spend all the time with him as well. I'm sorry, Pup Pup. Uh, Rusty, Rusty doesn't like when I cry. Um, so, anyway, um, he passed away Monday, the 16th of March. Um, he, he knew he wasn't going to make it uh, when he was at the hospital, so he asked to be put in hospice care and come home. And uh, my sister and I played music and sang for him. And I mean, my mom and my sister really took care of him while he was here because I was with the hospital bed here, I wasn't really able to reach and stuff, so they did so much for him. But um, we got to watch his favorite movies and listen to music. And, and one of his last requests was for me to write a song about him. And I, 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 I finally was, I couldn't do anything at first because I was just crying all the time. But a couple of days ago, I, I, I wrote one, and I'm sure there will be more, but, uh, um, I don't know if I will, I, I, I played it for my, uh, I played it for my girlfriend last night, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to record a video of it anytime soon. Uh, anyway.
anyway, I appreciate all of the love and support, all the comments I got on my previous video when I mentioned that he was back in the hospital. And, uh, and my family and friends, I mean, my friends have been so great, send, sending me, you know, food and love and support and cards and just everything has been, I mean, everybody's been amazing. But nothing will ever be able to take the place of him, and it really hurts. <laughs> a lot of people used to say that I had a strange relationship with my dad because I spent nearly every day of my life with him, but <laughs> I didn't think it was strange because I just, I loved him so much, and I missed him so much. <laughs> And I know that life goes on, but <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. But please stay safe. There's a lot of craziness in the world right now. Stay safe. Be well. And thanks for watching. <sighs> Bye, I'll see you next time.